If we talk about racing games, people mostly think of squealing tires on asphalt. Some of us might think of steering a rally car through dirt, but I'm pretty sure that nobody is thinking about something like this. Today, we introduce you to one of the dirtiest racing games you've probably seen in a very long time. Welcome to our review of Overpass. Overpass is different from any other racing game you might have seen before. Where we usually strive to be the first to the finish line of a clearly defined track, Overpass wants us to find our way through the roughest terrain possible. Without any direct competitors, but as fast as you can. This is still a racing game. The developer studio Zordix Racing wanted to provide an all-terrain racing experience, unique in the genre, which is in and onto itself a step into unknown terrain in the video game sector. But we have to admit, that the physics do a really decent job of transporting the feeling of a chase is on the edge of its limit and tires struggling for grip, or spinning freely. The heart of Overpass is its career mode. In 12 rounds, you try to gain as much reputation and collect as many points as possible to climb the rankings and make it to the final series. Races are chosen on a board, and every event counts as one round. After 12 rounds, you can attend the finale, depending on your position on the chart. To unlock a race, you need to solve every other level connected to it. If you finish a track, you can also unlock upgrades for your vehicle. You can see from the start what kind of upgrade it is going to be, so you can plan your route on the board according to your needs. In the garage, you can modify many different licensed vehicles, from Arctic to Polaris over Yamaha, for example. Some are unlocked from the start, while others need to be bought with in-game currency or can be unlocked by fulfilling certain conditions. The same goes for the equipment of your avatar, who you can pimp with new helmets, gloves and suits. Taking care of your vehicle also includes repairing it, as damage taken during a race will remain until you fix it. Raising your reputation gives you benefits like sponsors who offer you contracts, unlocking special gear for upgrading your ride or getting additional prize money for fulfilling certain achievements. You can only use these upgrades for as long as the contract runs and only one contract can be active at any given time. So you will have to prepare yourself for using different setups of your vehicles. In addition to that, you can accept bets for your next races or get challenged to underground races which are held at night on quite unique tracks. Winning these is rewarding as hell, but if you mess up, you might lose your ride. Overpass, there are different race formats. In one format, you drive around laps on a set track with different obstacles. The other one makes you try to reach the finish line on an open track out in nature, which sometimes offers different routes to the goal. While the lap races are more about dexterity, you will also need your brain and track awareness to make it into the finish line. Your vehicle can be key to your success. If you don't manage to solve a track with one vehicle, it doesn't mean you can't do it with another one that, for example, has a different kind of tire model. Mostly, you can choose between all-terrain buggies, which are known as UTVs, and quads, that are called ATVs. However, some races require a specific vehicle. Both types feature unique gameplay mechanics. While buggies are primarily about setting up your tires the right way and switching between different modes of power translation on the fly, quads replace this mechanic with the mechanic of leaning. You have to push the weight of your avatar into the right direction if you don't want them to learn how to fly. Besides the career mode, you can practice in an open field with different obstacles and just feel the breath of nature. Set up a single quick race to get familiar with a specific track or create your own challenges. The fascination of Overpass essentially comes from finding a way beyond all the different obstacles, exploring and getting to know the tracks, similar to most classic racing games actually. If you have mastered this first step, you will either be hooked and aim for the best lap time or you will lose interest very quickly. That doesn't mean that Overpass doesn't have any content. It will definitely take some time until you have seen every single track. Nevertheless, the game has its ups and downs. While the general gameplay is quite fun and even might interest arcade game lovers, some aspects are really frustrating. Overpass has no fixed respawn points, and if you are stuck or fly off your ATV, you might respawn in a position in which you instantly fail again. While the first mistake was your fault, the second one is definitely not. Also, the motorized mud party is kind of a roguelike in career mode. If you solve a race with an insufficient result, you can't repeat it. Either you have to finish the current career with a potentially frustrating result, or restart the whole thing. Either way, you have to start all over again. This hits hardest when you lose an underground race and consequently lose your ride, only because you didn't know the track and can't try again. What might be thrilling in most other games, 
just becomes annoying and frustrating in a game which is based on trial and error. The controls are generally smooth. The unfamiliar concept feels very, very strange at first, but after a few hours of practice, you can definitely feel the progress. And if you make a mistake in the game, then it's your fault and not the game's. And trust me, you'll make a lot of mistakes at the beginning. Overpass can be played by keyboard, gamepad or racing wheel. We totally want to warn you of using the keyboard though, as precise use of the acceleration is essential, and with a keyboard, that's simply not possible. Using a racing wheel has its upsides, but also comes with some issues. If you're using a wheel while driving an UTV, you will most likely get a fairly realistic experience, especially switching to the cockpit camera. It makes the game even more challenging, but also fun if you're a friend of simulations. A stable rig is recommended as the force feedback is precise, but very tough. And you will have to properly yank your wheel a lot on the tight tracks. This changes when you go from a UTV to an ATV. The problem here is that you simply cannot lean. The in-game controls just don't provide the setup to connect buttons on your wheel to leaning actions. This makes it nearly impossible to play ATVs with a wheel, unless you want to download some additional software to recalibrate. So do your nerves a favor and don't do that. The game is definitely designed for a controller. The analog triggers give you perfect control over your speed and tires. The sticks make steering and leaning at the same time easy, and the buttons for changing the translations are always in reach. Generally, overpass graphics are quite neat. While textures of stones and tarmac are a bit blurry, you'll be stunned by the sunlight. The lighting effects are definitely the game's time to, well, shine. The game also knows how to impress with its realistic mud and water effects, especially on the tires. Grass and other vegetation on the track really transports the feeling of a living, breathing environment. As in most racing games, objects and vegetation outside the track don't match the quality on it. But who really cares about that, right? Sometimes stickering edges are visible, which thankfully isn't too prominent. Also, the different landscapes offer enough diversity so that the tracks stay interesting, and the game doesn't suffer from too much brown or gray colors, even though it's always in the mud. The sound of the game serves the atmosphere perfectly. Don't expect too much music though. While the menu provides energetic rock music, which fits to the adventurous approach of the past, the rest of the game is mostly silent. The only thing you hear is the authentic roaring of your engine, which is an indicator for how fast you're going. What might be strange to some people at first becomes natural after a few minutes of playing already and fits very, very well with the outdoor feeling. You're truly alone in the wild. Only you and your machine. Chills. Overpass also provides different multiplayer options, such as local split-screen or online multiplayer, where you take turns to achieve the shortest time possible on a specific track. We can't say it often enough. Overpass is unlike any other racing game. Stepping away from the overdriven mud action of motocross on monster trucks, it has both feet on the ground and comes across almost as a puzzle game that is dressed up as a racing game. Although it can be very frustrating at times, it is also a lot of fun if you immerse yourself in the concept, provided you have a gamepad ready for the ATV sections. If that's the case, nothing stands in the way of broadening your racing horizon and gaining control over your acceleration pedal in a way you have never experienced before. The solid, sometimes even beautiful presentation makes Overpass a game that allows you to come down from the constant adrenaline kicks of other racing games. Experience motorsports in another environment in a different way but with a similar level of challenge to it. Overpass will also run on lower tier PCs, so don't worry if your specs are not the best. You can also get it on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. Overpass is far from being perfect and is possibly a game that nobody has asked for, but we should all be grateful that it's here. Thank you.